Okay, and I'm going to look at uh, some more examples of uh, SL questions where they put together two different topics. So on this particular example, we're going to look at where you have um, kind of functions put together with using the discriminant to work out solutions of a quadratic. Um, first thing, it's just worth kind of being able to visualize what's happening. You're probably going to get, if you get the sort of question, some kind of quadratic and some kind of line. Um, and they can have three different situations. You can either have two possible solutions, if they look like the first example. If there's a tangent, you'll get one solution. And if they don't intersect, you basically get no solutions. Which is very similar to the idea of the discriminant, um, you know, the b squared minus 4ac. And it's basically the same idea. But... Uh, it just adds an extra step that we have to do. So here's a kind of question that they might ask. So here's f of x equals x squared and g of x equals uh, x. Well, they intersect. So intersection is basically when they're going to be equal to each other. So that's what would we do on the, on the first step of a question. So if they intersect, then they must be equal. And then we would we would kind of work with this uh, this kind of new equation here. Okay, so that's the sort of thing that we're going to do. So let's actually look at some kind of questions on this. Um, here we go. So y equals 2x plus k, and that is a tangent to y equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. Find k. Well, let's just go back here a sec. If it's a tangent, there's going to be one solution. So that's our, our case that we've got here. Now, the first thing we do is say, well, they're going to intersect. So we just put them equal to each other. So 2x plus k is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. And we do what we normally do when we get this sort of position, which is we make it into a quadratic equal to 0. So we go, I've just rearranged everything, make it equal to 0. And I've just uh, brought everything to one side. Now I've got this. Basically, it's a very similar to, to the other kind of questions that you're used to. Basically, I've got a quadratic. And, well, I want one solution. So I want one solution to this quadratic here. Well, I now use my b squared minus 4ac. I need that to be equal to 0, because that's going to be the one solution case. And I'd always recommend doing this. Write down a, b, and c. a is 2, b is minus 5, c is 4 minus k. Stick all that in. So there we go, remember your brackets, brackets around the negative, minus 5 all squared, minus 4, brackets 2, brackets 4, minus k. Use your brackets, and I get this thing here. And then if I just rearrange it, I get k equals 7 over 8. And that's my solution. Let's have a look at another one. There we go, f of x equals x squared plus 3, g of x is kx plus 2. Again, I've got a quadratic and I've got a line graph. Intersecting two points. So if intersecting two points, then I'm going to have two solutions. So I'm going to have a case with two solutions. Find the values of k. Exactly the same as before. Make them equal to each other. They're going to intersect. So this is equal to the other graph. Same again. Rearrange it to make it into a quadratic equal to zero. So bring the minus kx, bring the minus 2 over this side. As before, write down what a, b, and c are. a is 1, b is minus k, c is 1. This time, I want greater than 0 because I want two solutions. So b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So I then get this. So that's minus k all squared. Use the brackets. Minus 4 brackets 1, bracket 1, greater than 0. Now I just have a little bit more work to do because I end up with k squared greater than 4. You may, for this last step, just kind of visualize what the graph of k squared would look like. It would be this one, and therefore it would be this part and this part of the graph. So k greater than 2 or k less than negative 2 would give you the answer. If you're not sure on where these inequalities go, choose a number, see what happens. For example, when k is negative 3, negative 3 squared, yep, that is greater than 4. So that is the right way around. Okay. And let's have a look at one last one. So here's again two graphs. This time they do not intersect, find k. So if they do not intersect, there are no solutions. But nevertheless, we, we, we start off by just 
as if they were going to intersect, we still say that they're equal to each other. So this is, we got this graph equal to this graph, and we basically, if they don't intersect, then this will have no solutions. So if it has no solutions, well first off, anyway, make it equal to quadratic. If it's got no solutions, I need b squared minus 4ac less than 0. This is the case with no solutions. As before, a is 1, b is negative 2, c is negative 3 plus k. Exactly the same as before. Stick your numbers into the brackets. And I get 4 plus 12, take away 4k squared, less than 0. 16 minus 4k less than 0. 16 less than 4k. Therefore, k is going to be greater than 4. And again, that is my solution.